you know, football is just the ultimate teacher. And every single time I step on the field, I feel like a rookie. I feel like I have so much to learn that perfection is impossible. And all I can see ahead of me is how much I can improve and how much I can grow. And, and I really embrace that challenge. Kristen, welcome to Manchester, welcome to United. Have you had a chance to have a look around? Not really. <laughs> um, been able to walk a little bit outside and was really lucky with some sunny days, which I hear are a rarity, so I've enjoyed those um, as summer comes to a close. But I'm really excited to get to, to see the city and explore Europe and, and Manchester. It's such an iconic club around the world, Manchester United. How excited are you to, to pull on that shirt? Oh, this has just been so surreal with having shut down from playing for six months um, and, and having no certainty to, to my career future, uh, but, but knowing that no matter what, you know, was going to stay committed to playing and, and being my best. And, and then the opportunity to play for such a massive club that's going to be fighting for, t for titles this year. Um, it's, it's just a dream come true. And I feel like this is a fresh opportunity to, to take my career to the next level. And um, I'm so grateful for that. It's such a great opportunity to be able to play in a consistent and high level environment for the next season is is everything that I could have asked for. I think in the end, what I want to do is, is compete for titles and, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, the team and Casey, what they've put together is really, really strong. And even though it's a, a young club and in the first division, that the goals and the ambitions of the team and the club and the coach are at the highest level. And, and that's what I look for. It is a young team, you mentioned that, and obviously the experiences that you've had in, in your career, the, the high levels that you've played at, is there going to be a slight mentoring role to some of these, these young players? Are you looking forward to that side of it as well? Yeah, I think it's always great to play with young players. Uh, I think there's a different attitude, a little bit of an energy, a hunger um, that is, is refreshing and it's good, and I think you know, I never really look at myself as an older player, but it's like every year that passes, more uh, more other people do. Um, and you know, I do, I do, especially when I think about like young attacking players coming up. I do think um, that there's a lot to to learn and to share, um, and I'll really embrace that that part of this this role that I have. How exciting is it as well to play under a young manager, Casey's? Experienced a lot the same as you have in terms of the growth of the game, and she's now taking her next steps into the management side of the game. Is it, is it an exciting prospect to play under somebody like that? Yeah, I have never played for a team that spoke so highly of a manager. And I've only been here, you know, for a few weeks and I'm so excited to play for her for that reason. I think it's really hard as a manager to get your, you know, your staff and your players to both respect you and to like you. And she's done that. And it's clear already in the first few days that she set a culture um, of discipline, respect, um, of excellence. And I think, you know, I have a lot to learn from her. You know, football is just the ultimate teacher. And every single time I step on the field, I feel like a rookie. I feel like I have so much to learn that perfection is impossible. And all I can see ahead of me is how much I can improve and how much I can grow. And, and I really embrace that challenge. I think it, for us, when we see the success of of the US team and the US players, to hear you say you still have things to learn. It, it, it's quite incredible. What do you hope to get from this time you're gonna have here in the WSL and in England? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a huge challenge. Um, it, it always is when you're like changing culture and it's not just the lifestyle culture, but it's the football cult culture, it's the approach. You know, in training, there will be like a thousand little things that like, you know, maybe a fan will never hear about. That's just like a different way that England approaches footwork. Um, and you kind of have to retrain everything that you're doing to, to fit in and, and to be a good member of the team. So I think, like I said, I embrace the challenge. Um, I try to think of all the challenges that are going to come with this. I think the biggest one is the team has great ambition to, to qualify for Champions League, so to be in the top three. And 
I think that's that's going to be where our, our mind's at and you know competing and beating the top teams in this league is going to be tough. Um, there's great teams and it's been I think it's been hard to, to break into that and I think that that's uh, really where, where my mind goes when I think about this season and, and our goals. You're obviously like you say very well known now, played in the national team, won so many major trophies. Does that bring uh, pressure of expectation when you when you move around when you come to a new club? <sighs> no, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. I think like in the end, when you have played in, you know, high pressure situations for so long, that just kind of is a given. And I personally have like a very high standard for myself and I'm my biggest critic. So the, the world's always like more easier on me than I am. Um, so that never really bothers me. I think in the end, I, I know that I'm my own greatest competitor and I have my responsibility to just being better than I was the day before. And, and, that's, and that's kind of how I approach um, any outside noise. What's your message to those Man United fans who unfortunately can't come in and see you play at the moment? Hopefully soon, um, <laughs> hopefully soon. But, you know, I think, you know, we have, we have a great team. Uh, we have great ambition and I'm so excited to play for all of you um, and to help the team fight and win this year.